I'm going to be fasting one hour for every channel subscriber we have. We recently hit our 100 subs, and as a thank you to all of you, I wanted to do a challenge where the number of our subscribers actually has an impact on the video itself. Now, these fasting videos have been done before. They're all over YouTube, but this is UniChaos, the action trivia game, which means that for every 25 hours fasted, I get to answer a question to unlock a buff or get debuffed, and believe me, you want to stick around for the debuffs in this one because they are the most evil freaking debuffs we've ever come up with. And the chances of me getting debuffed this time around are sky high because we're working with just one repeatable buff. It's a level 10 question. If I get it right, I get to subtract five hours from my fasting challenge. That's it. One buff, level 10, our highest level, almost impossible. But if I do get it right, it means I really deserved it. Hey, it's the day before the fast, and I'm here in my kitchen because I want to tell you guys about something very important if you're going to start a prolonged fast like I am. Please take everything I say in this video with a giant grain of salt. I'm not a health and fitness YouTuber. I will leave the link to a playlist with all the videos I watched before doing this fast in the description, but please do your own research if you want to try something like this. Also, because I'm a nerd, I'm giving myself a health bar, stamina bar, and magicka bar. Oh yeah. According to the internet, and by internet I mean YouTube, you're supposed to take a few days before you start fasting to, you know, accustoming your body to what you're gonna do to it. So you're supposed to starve your body of carbs. And this is what I've been doing for the last two days. My diet has been as boring as it possibly could get. I've been eating the entire chicken family. <laughs> More than once a day, dinner and lunch, chicken breast with eggs. I only have one egg on my plate now because I just noticed I ran out of eggs. So this is even more boring than it usually is. There are two major truths in this world. The first one is that the earth is not flat. Sorry. And the second one is if it's fun, it has carbs. This is not fun. But I've been supplementing this as well with whey protein. Now you're not supposed to break a fast with whey protein, again, according to the internet. By internet, I mean YouTube, because it's dairy based. And dairy is not good for breaking a prolonged fast. But you can take it before you start a fast, which is what I've been doing. Also, salt and electrolytes. And this is nutritional yeast. So I'll be taking this during the fast with my electrolytes because I need the nutrients. You know, you need the nutrients if you're going to have this crazy thing happen to your body. Hey, Anyway, this is my last meal, scrambled eggs, and uh, done fast starts now. It is Tuesday, 11.33 in the morning. It'll be over on Saturday at 3.33 p.m., provided I don't get any buffs. I'm about 10 hours into a 100 hour fast. These are the messages that I've been getting from my friends. There's this one, and then there's that one. And then of course, Fernando, he had to uh, get in on the action. Yeah, you went grocery shopping. Sent me a picture of his cart, not satisfied. Sent me a picture of eating Doritos. Fernando also sent me a four minute long audio message of just him at home, putting the groceries away. Yeah. You hear those bags? I hear the bags. What a troll. Is there a special place in hell for these people? I think so. Anyway, feeling pretty good. Let's hope it continues for four days. I have officially broken my fasting personal record because it's been 24 hours and my record was 21 hours before when I used to do intermittent fasting. According to this app, I'm actually in ketosis right now. But ketosis is when your body starts using fat for fuel. It runs out of carbs and it starts using fat. Sounds a little early. And I've been editing one of our food challenge videos and it feels like a debuff. I'm not hungry, but I... I want to eat. I remember how fun it is. Editing a stupid food video is not helping me. Feel good. You know, nothing really physical that I've been feeling that has been like negative because of this. Felt hungry a few times during the day, but it was temporary. It lasted maybe four minutes, actual physical hunger. But other than that, it's really just been mental. I'm dreaming of food. I really want a burger from McDonald's. Anyway, uh, because I've been filming this other challenge, I totally forgot about the trivia question. So this is uh, late. Who led Egypt in the Battle of the Delta? Ramses, Seti, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Seti the first. 
It was Ramesses the third. Oh God, the hiccups. Jar of trivia idiocy. Super Bowl's coming up. Wear your most delicious eye black. It was super late when I answered this question, so I decided to put on my eye black the next day. I just wasn't expecting to wake up feeling like I spent a month filming that hallway scene in Inception. did not sleep well at all. I got up a little and um, started feeling very lightheaded and just assumed that that is sodium, I need more salt. So quickly went back to bed, turned on the AC because I was sweating too. Put my feet up a little bit, took some salt and electrolytes and now I'm starting to feel a little bit better. First time really that I felt anything negative that could come from this fast. Oh my God, the smell, this is gonna suck. I want this so bad. I'm trying to do this with one hand while holding the phone. Look at that. Let's go for the Tom Brady look. Ah, that's a bit thicker than the Tom Brady thing. Nutella eye black, it smells amazing. Can I lick it? I have a long tongue. Can't do it. I can touch my nose though, look. See? The challenge hasn't been that hard for me physically because I haven't really felt hungry physically. That said, today was pretty bad because I felt lightheaded and stuff. Now, I have been taking salt and electrolytes, but it just hasn't been enough. So what I'm doing now is supplementing with more salt. Teaspoon here. So I read that you need to take between two to three grams of salt per day when you're doing a prolonged fast like this. So there you go, two grams. A lot more than the uh, normal normal daily value for salt if you were in a normal diet. I'm just going to put this in my mouth. Here it goes. Ugh, man, that's a lot of salt. Take it from a guy who loves salt. That was terrible. Today sucked. I felt like crap. I was in bed for the vast majority of the day. Every time I got up off of bed, I felt lightheaded and started sweating. Blood pressure problems, I don't know, a little blood pressure. And then I would just uh, get salt, drink water the entire freaking day. I got up twice and felt lightheaded twice. I might be feeling like this today because my body is has officially gone into ketosis, ran out of carbs, and it's just being a giant bitch. But anyway, I should have answered the trivia question on hour 50. However, uh, I was kind of uh, incapacitated. So I'm gonna answer that trivia question now. Better late than never. Probably get debuffed again. Whatever, man. This one, even though I look cool, the smell is killing me. If I breathe in through my mouth, I feel like I can taste it. It's so mean. Let's do the next trivia question. Ancient Egypt, which monument features Ramesses II four colossal statues? Oh my god, the, Ramess the Ramesseum? Abu Simbel? Like, I like history, but it was too much. Life is better with planning. Order pizza now. Have it next week. <laughs> It is past midnight, and so the pizza place is closed, but I'll order it tomorrow. I'll slice it because it doesn't come sliced. I'll stare at it for a little bit. I'll take in the scent, and then I'll freeze the freaking slices. I just, I miss having fun eating. I can do this challenge. If I don't feel like absolute horse crap, I can finish it. I wanted to say thank you to all of you who uh, subscribe to the channel. I know that there are so many things in, out there in the world that is just vying for your attention to be chosen by you guys as a source of entertainment is something that is really awesome and I feel really honored and I'm very grateful that you decided to watch a video or two and then subscribe to the channel. I felt like a hundred would be a good challenge video. Like I certainly wasn't gonna fast for a thousand hours, I'll tell you that. Yeah, just thanks for watching. This is the moment that I have been waiting for, but it's gonna kill me inside. I don't wanna eat this so bad. Pepperoni, my favorite, and then I'm gonna try something new. This pepperoni with my, this black olive 
pesto. Probably tastes good. I'll find out in a few days. A little over 20 hours left on the challenge. I am feeling sluggish, very low energy. The Della smell is killing me. And now the pizza smell is killing me. Hopefully I can make it the rest of the way. But if I feel sick today, I might have to break the fast. This pizza doesn't come sliced, so I need to slice it. And then I'm gonna freeze it, unfortunately. Man, I feel weak. This is not easy for me to do right now. Back in bed, this time with the towel on my face. Started feeling lightheaded again, sweating, blood pressure, I guess, is low. Although I took a lot of salt today, been drinking a lot of water. There's no freaking way I'm dehydrated. I've been doing everything that the internet says that I should do. I feel like crap. I live alone, I feel like this is a little dangerous. So, as soon as I have enough strength, um, because I'm really feeling sluggish today, I'll be breaking my fast with chicken breast. See how my body reacts. A couple of hours after that, I'll eat more chicken breast, but this time I'll add pea protein. And a couple of hours after that, I'll have like a, a couple of hard boiled eggs. That's the plan to just like keep on feeding every few hours to get my body used to food again. Uh, and then hopefully by tomorrow, I can go back to uh, eating what I normally eat. You know, maybe even tomorrow in the evening, even eat that pizza that I just ordered. <laughs> it's the first challenge that I haven't been able to complete, which sucks, but it is what it is. Let's start feeling better. I got 56 grams of chicken breast here with some salt sprinkled on it. Nice effort. Thank you, app. So boring but I miss it it's chicken but it tastes five times as strong as it used to I'm in heaven right now I can't even open my eyes that felt incredible and the plan is to give my body a couple of hours to see how it reacts to what I just ate keep my uh, calorie intake for the day below 950 calories focus on protein get 56 grams of protein today and now I'm gonna go back to bed I'm very low energy some six hours after going to bed, eating uh, three hard boiled eggs. My stomach feels fine, although I did wake up feeling really hungry. So it's time to level up and time to reintroduce some carbs in the form of this uh, veggie soup with some noodles and um, beef. We'll see how it goes. I've been reintroducing carbs since this morning and my body has handled them fine. So it is finally burger time. Editor Lucas here. I want to talk about the results of these uh, 80 hours of uh, fasting and two days of pre-fasting of trying to accustom my body to no carbs at all. It's going to feel weird showing a before and after picture of me without a shirt on on YouTube, but it's a fasting video, so I guess it's expected. I don't know. Two days before I started the fast, I weighed 174 pounds. I lost two pounds during the pre-fasting phase where I starved my body of carbs and finished my 80 hour fast weighing a 168.3 pounds, which means I lost 5.7 pounds total. It's a lot, but I was already fairly lean before I started, and honestly, I don't see much difference in the before and after pictures. Personally, I prefer counting calories if I want to lose weight or gain weight, though there are other benefits to prolonged fasting. I just didn't feel like I was getting any. A couple of conclusions that I could draw from this little experiment. The first one, eating is better. And the second one, in a survival situation, I would be screwed. <laughs> I apologize for not completing the challenge, but I prefer giving up on video than actually faking one of these challenges, so... Anyway, the last remaining debuff inside the jar of suck, which you didn't see, because I didn't get to answer the last question, was to watch 30 minutes of a cooking channel on YouTube. Probably this guy, because he's my favorite. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I love